Hi guys, uh, welcome to my review or my take on the KB ear Queen Long. I apologize if I'm saying it wrong, but uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce it properly. Anyway, apparently that means dragon. And uh, yeah, you can kind of see the dragon motif here on the box. The box is a box which reminds me a lot of the box of the Tri HBB uh, Kai uh, package, you know, the style of the box they used. Anyway box sleeve open it up simple you open this up you greet it by the eye ends over there you lift that up oops lift this up if it will come out you gonna come out or not oh, this is giving me some work huh? okay there we go and inside we have the carrying case, which is the usual carrying case that KB here gives us. Nice, uh, I'm assuming this is, well, not real leather, fake leather, but anyway, it's a nice case. Very pocketable. Uh, brings the cleaning cloth, plenty tips. Nothing to complain about there. Cleaning tool. The only thing that it doesn't bring is a typical um, KB here. Uh, tips though the ones that I personally like using myself as well it doesn't bring those tips but I, I, I kind of uh, have put them on uh, the IEM and that's what I'm using I'm using the 07 yellow size uh, which is the white bore large ones okay as for the IEMs well the IEMs themselves <coughs> are an all metal shell as you guys can see put this away here So it's an all metal shell, a uh, bit of a fingerprint magnet, uh, but nice. Um, I, it would have been nice since the motif is a dragon or something, but this could have actually been, in, you know, maybe engraved. These scales or whatever they are could have been engraved. I don't know. It's just just make it a little bit more more um, upscale in terms of the, the the finish. Because the way it is, it looks. It actually looks a little bit tacky, to be honest with you. But anyway, the shell itself is fine. It fits beautifully in my ears. I had absolutely no issues with the fit. Isolates quite well. Uh, as I said, I'm using the uh, 07 KB 07 tips. Got metal nozzle, as you can see, but it's all part of the actual shell itself. It's not a separate one. Got a vent over there. Another one over there. No issues with uh, driver flex or anything of the sort. Uh, isolation is pretty decent, stays in the ear quite nicely. The, the IM themselves, although uh, metal, they're not heavy. I didn't find them to be heavy, so no fatigue with regards to that. The cable. Um, the cable, it's got this very kind of, I don't know, well, I don't like the shine of it, to be honest. And then it just, you see? You see what I mean? It just has this kind of... It doesn't break its memory very well, okay. And and I personally don't don't like it. I like a cable that's a little bit more malleable. Um, although I mean I'm not going to really complain. It's not a bad cable. I guess KB Ear could have done a little bit better, but it is what it is. I mean this is uh, roughly an IM for about eighty dollars, so it's at a, a price segment which is very very competitive. I mean uh, there, there's a lot of really good IEMs at this price and and uh, I guess ultimately that is the biggest uh, the first biggest obstacle that the Queen Long uh, has to overcome the fact that this market at, at under $80 or under $100 but let's consider the under $80 price bracket is very very competitive I mean uh, in front of me here I've got some IEMs I've got what I consider uh, the ones that break away a little bit more from the uh, normal trend of the tuning that is being used, which is kind of this harmony style tune. And this harmony style tune is applied in IMs as, as such as Tinty 3 Plus, which is around $70, Tinty 2 DLC, which is about $60, uh, HC Sound Heart Mirror Pro, which is about $75. Um, we've also got the Moondrop Aria, about $70. We've also got the um, the uh, Fio Jade Audio G2 
JD7, which is about $90, although you could have bought it now recently for about 70 uh, during the 1111 uh, sales and Black Friday sales. So those IEMs have all got a very similar style of tuning, okay? Um, oh, mustn't forget as well, the Tennis Gym, the Ola, the base edition also has that style of tuning. Um, while the ones that I have selected here, uh, namely the NF Audio NA3, um, this has got a more um, uh, a more typical tuning for them, a more typical uh, uh, in-house tuning for them, uh, which is one which uh, has. Uh, uh, let me show you. I'm trying to zoom this in here just to show you. Doesn't want to, doesn't want to show itself to us. Anyway, this is the NA 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 ah, NA three. Um, all uh, plastic resin shell, a uh, little bit of a dubious uh, faceplate design. But anyway, they've got this this very typical tuning for them, which has got these peaks at just over 2 and just over 4K. Um, and, well, it breaks away from that tendency of the usual Harman style tuning. So this is one that I have here for, for us to compare the uh, Queen Long with. The other one is the, the B2E YZ Topaz, which is a... Uh, well, a hybrid stock because it's got a piezo element as well, and again, it's got it's got a very it's it's very own typical BQEYZ tuning. Um, but I thought it made sense. Then over here, slightly cheaper, uh, an IM which still goes very much under the, the radar, which is the 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 Richo SG01. Very nice IM, very 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 nice IM. This is kind of a. Uh, a more modern take on the Blon 03. It's got a little bit more energy in terms of the 1K and above area. A little bit more polished treble uh, and slightly less bass. But it's kind of that Blon 03 type of signature. And then from from the same uh, well from the uh, from from KBE or from Tri, I've got two IEMs uh, that I'm going to be using to compare with the Queen Long. One is the Tri. Um, HBB Kai, uh, single ED as well, around the $85 mark, so very close to the price of the Queen Long. And the other one is an IM, which I haven't seen it in it, uh, I haven't seen it available on this on sale, so I'm not sure if they've discontinued it or not, but it's the KB Air Inc. Okay, this one, yeah, sorry. Which kind of is a... Um, I'm not going to say it's a, 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 a retake on the diamond, but it uses the same shell, same kind of nozzle, uh, everything's very similar. But anyway, these are the IMs that I have here to try and give you an idea on, on what the Queen Long is about. Um, they've used, uh, well, according to KBA, they've used a 10mm uh, driver, uh, which is um, which has a diaphragm, which is uh, PE and, um, uh, and a PU, sorry, PU and PE. K uh, material, so uh, polyurethane with uh, some other some other some other material. I'm not sure, um, and they say they've chosen that over the the more common uh, LCP DLC beryllium plated drivers because this driver would give them the performance they were looking for, and I'm sure that they, their intentions when they did the tuning of this was was uh, was a positive intention and it was a good intention. However. And you just have to take a quick look at the graph that they themselves give for the IEM, although that graph is worth, uh, it's worth what it's worth. But if you look at the, 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 the graph that they themselves give, okay, this is the graph that they give. And you just have to look at this graph. Um, and, and it's not so much the, 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 the crazy pin again, which it has, you know, but it's more, let me just see if I can show you here better. So it's not so much the pin again, okay, which is crazy and it peaks at just over 2K, let's say 2.5K. But it's more the way that it after 4K it just drops off. There's absolutely nothing, and that there is a thing that should uh, obviously you know bring you or call your attention and and uh, is a warning that something there will be maybe perhaps off. And what I'm saying by all of this is very simple. If you guys have seen my recent reviews on the ISN H50 and uh, the Pinon serial. Uh, those two IEMs follow uh, something which they started off, uh, or they've also done in the ISN H30 and the Panon Fan 2, which is they have adopted different tuning styles, different tuning tuning uh, 
uh, approaches, but they've made sure that those approaches work and that everything sounds really good. And the truth is, I was blown away with the H30. Same thing with the Fan 2. The H50 can't just like was a, 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 a huge surprise. And the serial, which I just reviewed today, was again uh, something which I just didn't expect. It, uh, it, it was a few days listening to it and burning it in properly to make sure that I would extract the best out of it. Uh, and although I'm not a really big believer of burning in, uh, what I can say is that I have over the years encountered some IEMs that seem, and this is not a, a brain thing, no, but there are IEMs that definitely seem to have improved improved performance once they've played for a few hours, okay? And there still is one of those IEMs. So they have approached a different tuning style, but it works and it's done well. KB here has tried to do the same thing here with the Queen Long, but it's fallen short. And what they've basically ended up with is an IEM which is dark sounding uh, and that only shines with occasional songs and occasional uh, uh, genres. It, it's not an IEM that I would say plays everything well and it's good and no, no. Um, the last thing that it has is detail. It's, it's not a very detailed IEM, unfortunately. It's not an IEM where uh, if you like your twinklies and your sparklies, you're going to get those. No, you're not. You're definitely not going to get. Um, I will give it a nice bass line. The bass line is nice. At least it's been controlled and is not the excessive mess that you found in, the, for example, the Rose Finch. And, and, and uh, the Rose Finch as well, I don't understand. The Rose Finch actually has, and I've played around with the Rose Finch myself and I've retuned it and brought down that bass. And the Rose Finch, once you brought, once you bring down that bass, what you get in terms of the mids, which already are present there in the stock format, but just completely overpowered by the bass. But the the, the way the mids just come out and just shine, uh, it actually puts the Queen Long to shame. Let me put it to you that way, okay? Uh, a, a Rose Finch with less bass, like I've done it, puts the Queen Long to shame. It's got detailed mids, excellent vocals, good timbre, good tonality, plenty of extension. It does everything perfectly. That's what, those are the mids and the highs that this should have had, coupled with the bass that this has. Because my modified Rose Finch basically uh, brings the bass down to the levels of the Queen Long. Okay. Um, so, I get the feeling that, yes, KB Air is definitely trying. KB Air is definitely doing their best to tune IEMs properly. I'm not. I'm not going to deny that. But somehow, somehow, I get the feeling that they are not keeping up with what is available, and they're not keeping up with what uh, other brands are doing. And by not doing that, you don't know your enemy. You know, take that with a grain of salt. So if you don't know, if you do not know your enemy, you cannot fight him. And especially at this price, I mean, you know, I would take any one of these IMs over the Queen Long, any one of them. And it's and it's a tr and honestly, it's a pity. It's a pity because I see potential there. I do. I really do see potential. But anyway, let, let me let me break this down properly uh, so that uh, you guys can get a, a solid idea of what this is about. Um, Base, it's nice. It's clean. It's detailed. It's got good speed. Um, it's capable of, of going down deep and having a good rumble when it's called for. Um, Sweat from JK, Re uh, JK Reeve, Re the remix. It's got a good impact to it. Chemistry of Love, Michael Franks as well. Nice, clean. Um, stuff like uh, Searching from Opolopo. Again, the bass shines. It's, it's, it's perfect. There's nothing wrong with the bass. Uh, the issue then starts is with the mids. Oh, you have... Uh, an excessive uh, pin again, in my opinion, and then the way the mid, the mids are done, uh, they just um, male voices are okay for the most part, but the female voices they just close down completely because after four K, so uh, when when you reach the area where there should be a little bit of 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 transparency of of shining of of when it just dies out. Fair enough, there's no sibilance because, I mean, the peaks at 5k, which usually bother the majority of us, are non-existent. There's no sibilance, but there's nothing. There's no there's no sense of cleanliness. It's it's just 
closed in dark it's uh, you know it's it's um, it's it's strange it's a it's a strange strange uh, approach to tuning and then there isn't much extension as well past uh, past uh, past i mean it, it's it's it, when you see the graphs just now you'll see what i mean it's just a drop of the 4k it just starts dropping 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 and that's it um so what happens with regards to the technicalities well the technicalities suffer obviously sound stages okay whatever imaging again whatever uh, detailed retrieval again whatever uh, timbre and tonality is not bad but everything is always a a you know performance with this IEM is always very much song dependent okay so for example if I let's say put a song like uh, let me see let me show let me try and if I put, for example, Sunrise from Larry Carlton, not the live version, the normal studio version, if I put that song on the Queen Long, it does it perfectly. It sounds amazing. It's not a busy song. It's very simple, just a guitar, you know, so it's, it's, it's relatively easy to, 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 to reproduce, let's put it that way. And, and it's good. It sounds good, okay? Um, if, on the other hand, I put something like Come Over from Rashan Patterson, things start getting a little bit more busy straight away. You start, you are greeted by an inability to keep up, okay? And that's, and it's, it's, it's a pity. It really is a pity. Uh, if I put another song like, for example, Unconditional from Soul Persona, yes, it, it is capable of that engaging uh, bass beat and so on and so forth, but there isn't the rest that carries on that makes the song quite quite uh, uh, quite likable. You know, it's, it's it's a very nice song. It's a very up tempo song. Um, another one that that have that has, that suffers from the same uh, uh, situation. It it feels so good from Diane Reeves. Same situation. It's it does one part of the song nicely or one part of the instruments in the song nicely, but it doesn't do the rest. So everything just sounds it just sounds off. It's, it's the way of it's the best way I can say it, it just sounds off um, Don't Leave Me Lonely for example from Mark Ronson and Yeba which is a song which is very high energy it's, it's very engaging um, again no it doesn't do it to the best of its abilities how does it compare then with uh, the rest well um, let me start with the reach of the Richer does everything better. It's as simple as that. Uh, the Richer only has periods of uh, a certain, almost, uh, um, not, not, look, it's not even harsh or aggressive, but it's just very intense in that 4, 5, 6K area where there can be hints of sibilance. Otherwise, everything else in the Richer is very good. Everything. I mean, honestly, really, really nicely tuned I am. There's really nothing I can point or falter uh, on it. And at $45, need I say more? Uh, BQEYZ Topaz. The bass on here is tremendous. Um, there were people that complained about it maybe sounding dark. By comparison with the Queen Long, it sounds bright. <laughs> Um, I think that the execution of the of the piezo was very well done. It's it's it doesn't have the tizziness of the piezo. It sounds really nice, really clean. Yes, there could be a little bit more sparkle, a little bit more shine, but it's it's it plays really well. And again, again, in my opinion, it is a, a better option than the Queen Long. Uh, the um, NA3, which is an, an IM that has gotten absolutely no love, no love. I think I was one of the few people that reviewed it. Probably uh, out of the th these three, probably out of these three, uh, I would say this would be the most balanced one. Nice bass, nice mids, uh, even that peak there at four and a half K, more or less, it's not really an issue. It doesn't really bug because the bass kind of makes up for it. Very nice, very capable, loads of energy past 4K as compared to the Queen Long. Loads of energy, loads of detail. So technicalities here are amazing. It's what really decent sound stage, really decent uh, imaging, detailed retrieval, very good. I mean, really nice, really nice I am. Um, moving on to 
let's say the brothers or the cousins, okay, um, probably go with the ink first. Uh, the ink is a V-shaped I am, um, okay, but its fault compared to the Queen Long is that it's 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 a very strong V, uh, so the mids are very scooped, um, and then you have this, all this energy to try and compensate for it, uh, you know, in the, in the four, five, six K area, which can make it sound. Uh, a little bit aggressive it can be sibilant at times but at least at the very least there is energy there there is detail it is capable of as long as you control your your volume button a little bit it is capable of things in terms of, of technicalities that the queen long cannot do which begs the question why not just take this and give it a little bit of a retune because from what i understand the driver you're using here is not a bad driver uh, and it's just down to the tuning. It just needed a little bit of, of a touch up in the tuning. And I think there's, there's, there's a gem here. I honestly do think there's potential. I, I really never spent any time trying to re retune it. But I, come to think of it, I actually think I will, I will get another set uh, just to retune and then compare with the original one and, and see what can come out of it. I really do. Because I honestly believe that this is an IEM that has potential. And in my opinion, in my book, it's, it's a superior IEM to the, to the Queen Long. Okay, and finally the Kai. Uh, the Kai again. Um, uh, it's 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 not my cup of tea personally. Um, I I think it's an IEM that uh, it, yes it does play well. It does have things which are are, are in its favor. Uh, it's a, a kind of an in between uh, a a melee and a and an, and, an, and a Olina. But it, it was never an IEM that I felt really compelled to it but compared to the compared to the queen long it, it, it there's no comparison there's clear and defined um, you know uh, uh, everything there it's, it's clear it's defined it's it's there the, you can feel this bass there's mids there's vocals there's instruments there's there's highs there's everything everything is there there's nothing that's missing on the queen long it it it, it honestly it seems like there's loads of stuff missing and you know it's a pity because i like kb here i'm a big fan of kb um, they recently earlier this year launched another am which kind of also fell under the radar which was the Ormosia and um, a one plus one and it's it's a nice am it's not a bad am overall better am than this i can tell you that much plays better than this um, but again it was an am that suffered from a tuning that did a little bit more of a touch-up to really shine. Uh, the Rose Finch now recently, I mean, great driver, just the tuning was a little bit, I don't know, I, I, I really don't know what what uh, the, the whole idea of, of KBR is, but if they want to be competitive with the market, they, they better maybe uh, rethink their approach. Uh, and as I mentioned before, I mean, these are all IEMs this is around 70, like I said, about 70, uh, 45, 80s, 90s almost. Uh, that was around $70. All of these IEMs are priced uh, to basically the same price as the Queen Long. But we still have quite a few others that are very close. I mean, like like I mentioned, you have the, the HD Sound, the Heart, you know, the, the, the Heart Mirror Pro. You have the, the JD7. Uh, you have also... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. I was, I was forgetting, although it's it's a hybrid uh, or a more complex, but you have the HM20. Honestly, I would take the HM20 of the Queen Long any day. Any day. It's a better IM. It's it's better tuned. It sounds good. It's not perfect, but it sounds really good. And this, in comparison with the Queen Long, no comparison. Uh, and of course, you, you have the, 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 the one of the crowd favorites in, 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 the, in the segment, and that recently now you could have had it for $80, which is the um, Olina SE. I mean, when you have something like this, that plays this way, at this price, is it worth it to go buy the, the, the KB here? I don't know. I'll leave that decision to you. Anyway, guys, uh, I think this kind of gives you a, a, a pretty decent idea of what uh, the Queen Long is about. Uh, um, 
I think that KBA really needs to reassess the tuning on this IM. Um, the, the, it, I'm sure it was a valid attempt, but uh, in my in my in my opinion, in my books, it's it's missed the target by mile, uh, and um, I don't think that the, it's going to be a success in any manner. You know. Um, that's it, guys. I'll show you the graphs now, and uh, yeah, see you in the next one. Take care. Hi there, guys. So this is the graph section for the uh, Queen Long, and uh, straight away here's the graph of the of the Queen Long. And as you can see, um, exactly what I mentioned in the uh, actual review. Um, nice sub base and base energy bleeds a little bit into the mids, but it, it's it's not really offensive. Then you got this huge pin again, about uh, 12 dBs. But it's not so much this, this, the issue, or this, yeah, that's the issue. It's the fact that we, you get you get to 4.5, it drops off, and that's that. It's it's just it's just game over. There's nothing else there, you know. Um, anyway, let me just quickly show you compared to the stuff that I was um, uh, that I had selected. Uh, first one here will be the NF Audio, so number six. Um, and as you can see, well, it, it's it's self-explanatory. The NF Audio has got basically the same same base, uh, but then it's got a whole of a lot more information past uh, the 4.5k, which, funny enough, is that also where it peaks, um, drops off, couple of related peak, and then drops off again. But I mean, the amount of energy that this has compared to the Queen Long is it's day and night. Uh, this translates to better detailed retrieval, better sound stage, better imaging, better everything in terms of the hardcore technicalities. So that's one out of the way. Next one is the BQEYZ Topaz. Uh, again, uh, the base basically the same, although it's actually got more base because it's a, it's a bigger driver, it's a 12 millimeter driver. And um, then you have uh, well, a, a, a way more subdued pin again. And dropping off nicely, gentle, and then you got this peak here, which is very much the piezo in effect. And it's just the simple fact that it's got this uh, is enough to give the topaz a much more open sound and a much more detailed sound. Although that is also not the topaz's biggest um, calling card. The topaz, uh, I think, the the, the 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 thing that's the that's the the big main characteristic of the Topaz it's how it's been able to uh, use a piezo and, and, and um, have it play and give just the right amount of treble energy and detail while not uh, conveying or letting that usual piezo you know tonality tissiness come across and again uh, in my opinion uh, it's a superior sounding I am than the, than the Queen Long Okay, then uh, next one here, next one here, next one. And, oh yeah, the the um, the um, the KB ear brothers. Let's put it that way. So we have the KB ear. Where is it? There we go. The ink number three here. Um, very much similar in the terms of the base and everything. Um, and then. You know, again, this massive pin again, uh, but at least there's loads of detail. Um, and it's a pity that they actually didn't take this and try to retune it because I think that this retune, this stained, would have made for a very nice sounding ink. Uh, the ink's problem really is this, is this crazy pin again, which peaks at around 3k, which is not bad. It's just then uh, it, it, it makes things too, too in your face, too to high energy um, and, and can be fatiguing after a while but it's got details got better 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 technicalities by a mile uh, so yeah uh, that's that's that one out of the way and the other one is the try tk2 the try where is it sorry guys i thought i had it here try it would be kai there we go okay take away this and just align those two uh, and line the other Kai. There we go. And actually, just change the color so it see we see it better. There we go. Um, 
what about the Kai? Uh, the Kai, apparently, by looking at it, you think that, okay, it's, pro it's probably also dark and not the, you know, the cleanest sun, but no, you couldn't be, you couldn't be further away from what it is in reality. It's, it's, um, the base and the way that it marries into the, the you know, sub base and the base and the, and the, and the midst, the way that this transitions, it's perfectly done. Uh, so it's, 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 it's not overpowering. It's got enough energy, enough oomph to make it engaging. Uh, and then the way that it's, you know, the pin again is done very smooth, very relaxed. It's about a seven, eight dB pin again. So nothing aggressive there. Um, and then drops off gently and but there's energy you notice that there's energy and the overall balance is the most important thing the overall balance of everything is way more correct than it is on the on the queen long the queen long just sounds wrong in that aspect uh, you know fair enough we've got a little bit too much mid bass here and fair enough we've got a very big pin again but it just sounds wrong so yeah that's the tri tk2 uh tri tk2 so the tri kai hb kai i've shown you the uh the the the, um, the uh, KB here the the ink as well so that's that that can take those two out of the way um, showed you the topaz and showed you the um, um, NF audio uh, and I think I'm not uh, oh just for the sake of comparison and just for you to see where this tuning is then deficient for example if I show you an Olina you you, you you can see straight away you know uh, nice mids plenty detail amazing the, the the balance of the tuning is perfect you know the peak there is the same as the peak there it's it just this peak is roughly uh, about the same as the lowest point it's it's perfect it is perfect it's very well done um, another one which also has a, a, an amazing tuning is this one yeah the JD7 it speaks for itself again I don't think I really have to go into too much detail perfect it sounds absolutely amazing um, you know and by looking at the the the, at the, at the graph of the of the Queen Long you can see that there's potential they could just bring this down maybe just a, a notch just a little bit one two dBs or maybe not even touch this but just redo this and give it extension redo the way that it you know peaks then drops off nicely and extension okay it will end up being another one of those um harman styled tunings but at least i'm sure that it will work because this attempt yeah uh, wasn't was oh yeah i was forgetting sorry sorry guys sorry the Richo, the sg uh sg01 where is that Richo? Richo, here we go Richo sg01 sg01 there we go um and the reach out as, as you can actually see it's probably the one the one i am that has maybe the the closest similarity to it in its tuning to the the queen long um but it's it's got so much more energy up top here and it it's it's completely different i mean you feel that the reach out is finished it's it does everything it does the full spectrum of sound and by doing the full spectrum of sound and having what graphically doesn't seem like it, but in reality it is when you listen to it, by having this way more energetic uh, presentation uh, in above the 1K area, it just is a completely animal. It's a completely different animal. It just, it's alive, it sounds alive, it doesn't sound muffled, it doesn't sound like it's underwater, which is what happens with the uh, Queen Long. And, and again, I repeat uh, to to a great pity of mine because I, I really think that there's potential in the IM and um, I hope they do uh, do something about it. Anyway guys, uh, like and subscribe, any questions as always please feel free to ask. Take care, bye bye.